Hey guys, my name's Jan. I make new videos every Friday, so please make sure you hit that subscribe button down below to be notified when I upload a new video. And make sure you click the bell notification button because that will inform you either on your phone or by email of when I upload a new video so you can be one of the first to check it out. Hey guys, this week I have decided to make a video on the things that I've got for university when I go back at the end of the month so that I've got some new things for next year. And I thought what I'm going to do is I'm going to share it with you all because it might inspire some of you lot to get some things ready for your start of university. Or you're all maybe already there or you might be looking for some ideas on what to take. And because I will be going into my second year, I thought it'd be a great idea to show you some things that I thought I'd need last year and I'd definitely recommend for this year. And what better to wear when I'm talking about my university than wearing this nice Princeton top here of a university in America that I was lucky enough to visit back when I went to New York. But of course, I'm at Swansea University and not Princeton. But it's a nice top. There are numerous items I'm going to recommend so what I'm going to do is go over a general overview then after that I'm going to talk about the books that I've got for next year which are going to be quite specific to my course but it might give you an idea if you're on any other courses what to get as well because you'll see there's a mix of different things that are there so here is what I have. <laughs> First of all, bedding, hole reinforcers. The reason I get these is because I'm very good at ripping pieces of paper when you hole punch them. Get some hole reinforcers, that way they won't rip as easy. A nice brand new folder, folder dividers. You might have different subjects that you need to cover. Make sure you use these, that way you can have the different subjects. I get plastic ones because I prefer plastic to the paper ones because like I say, I rip things. Have them different colours as well, makes it much, much easier. A nice pad. This is a project book. I know that I'm going to be doing at least four courses next year. And I recommend these puck pads, especially because they have pockets at the front where you can put things that you're handed from the lectures and things. That way you can keep them every week because you never know when you're going to need them. Index cards. A writing pad. Write your to-do list in here. Last week I mentioned on my top tips for university, there should be a banner going up there, by the way, to find out what tips I recommend for university. Writing to-do list is a good one. Get a book to write your to-do list in. Fine liner pens for revision and for notes that you need to make sure that are very important. DVDs, surprisingly, I'm mentioning this bit because you're going to need something to watch because you will have some free time at university. Sometimes it's nice to have something on in the background and things. You might not have a TV license. DVDs are a good way and cheap way to get around things. Now, they're the more general things. I'm now going to talk about the books that I'm going to need for next year. Criminal Law, Text Cases and Materials. Got this. This is the book by an author of the university. This is what I need for the course. It's on the recommended reading list. The reason I've got this as well because it's a textbook, this is going to be my baby for the course. Make sure you get a textbook for each course. Principles of Criminal Law. As you can see, this is a second-hand book, probably a few years out of date, but it's still all right to use. The reason I've got this is because it's a bit of a different guide to the text case of the materials book. Sometimes you need to look at something a bit different because you might not understand things or you might need some extra information. Good idea to get another book. Criminal Law Blackstone Statutes book. Surprisingly, I got this for a pound brand new out of Waterstones. Waterstones are doing some deals at the moment. Please make sure you go and check them out in the stores. Equity and Trust textbook. Very nice one. The course has two recommended books, so you can buy one of each. I recommend buying both. If you can afford it, you might be able to get them second hand and things. And Sometimes if you get them second hand, happened to be that the price of that one, which was second hand, and this one which was brand new, was about the same price as buying this one brand new. And this one is still in date. 
also got my equity interests other book which is old again to get other ideas and things and my textbook textbooks on things tend to be like in law the cases where the case law is discussed more rather than the principles get a book like that because it will make life a lot easier land law unlocking land law textbook modern land law textbook the proper textbook i need for you the old textbook that was cheap out of a charity shop you get the drill by now again the statute book the one that gives you the principles the one that gives you the relevant law or whatever you need for your subject make sure you get these even for american studies i have the textbook or some sort of textbook which uh, this one is major problems in the history of the american south i know i'm doing the american south next year i know that this is going to be somewhat important state by state it's because it's each state you know what i was on about the statute books this is basically a statute book in law but it discusses different states of america not about the laws but it gives you an idea of what each state is about for instance massachusetts or louisiana or georgia it gives you the detail on the state you know you might need that specialist information and one more thing for law and it might be the same for history economics whatever the revision guides for each subject because you will need to revise eventually these as well are very good at summing things up and they're very good for when it comes to coursework and things because they tell you other things to go to if you're doing law specifically i recommend the concentrate books in particular right i've had a good run through of what i have got for next year for university so that way you might see whether my book collection changes by the time i've finished university make sure you've got some things that you know you can enjoy you also have some coffee i also have some other bits that i need those coffee things that you put in you know the flavorings i've got some of them because that's what i enjoy make sure you get things that you enjoy as well for university anyway hope you have enjoyed this week's video if you have and you are new to my channel make sure that you subscribe down below if you've enjoyed this week's video make sure you give a big like down below it really does help and make sure you leave a comment as well on your ideas for university or what you're doing and that way you can maybe create a bit of a discussion because i haven't had one of them in a while last week's video is at the end that was discussing some tips at university i definitely recommend watching that especially if you are new to university or if you're going into another year or you might not be going to university but there's some good things for colleges and schools and things that i'd recommend following on there as well they are great tips they will really help you even if you're going to work i imagine anyway hope you've enjoyed this video my twitter and snapchat are there make sure you follow me on them to see what i'm getting up to in the next couple of weeks and last week's video is at the end I'll see you all next time. Good. Bye. Why don't you click subscribe? Make sure you check out last week's video. Why not follow me on Twitter or Snapchat?